Hello everyone, welcome to biology class. This is the part 2 of this chapter 1 videos. In the last class we had discussed some of the important definitions along with the applications of biology. We will continue our chapter and today we will see about applied biology. How biology can be useful in our day to day lives. Let us begin. So last week many important definitions we discussed. I hope you have completed the homework. You have to note down them in your notebook and learn them. Now we have the topic for the day applied biology and applications of biology in other fields. So there are many fields in which biology is relevant. It is important. We will discuss some of them how biology is important in many fields. The first one is agriculture. In agriculture in day to day life it is important because of it leads to raising of the crops and other livestock. Livestock are the animals which are used in the purpose of agriculture, the cattle for example. So that is agriculture. Next apiculture. Apiculture is related to the practice of keeping bees. Means we are rearing honey bees for example and from that what we are getting in return we are getting bee wax and honey. That is a commercial product and it is very good for economic purposes. Next one veterinary science that is related to the treatment and surgery of animals next one is marine biology marine biology is the study of the life in the sea means life in the sea means we don't have to live there it means the life of the aquatic animals we are studying about how the aquatic animals how the aquatic plants are living or leading their lives in the oceans in the sea in different water bodies next one now household biology household biology is actually the study of the household animals insects and how to prevent the damage to our body our belongings just the day-to-day -day related to our household only so that is what is called as household biology next one now is horticulture horticulture is actually the science of growing the fruits vegetables flowers different types of ornamental plants ornamental means decorational plants so this is related to the commercial aspect because fruits vegetable flowers the, the ornamental plants all are having some money value associated with them so horticulture is more or less related to the things which are collect connected to the market indirectly next one now sericulture sericulture is the process of producing silk that is done by the silkworm silkworm produce feeds on the mulberry leaves and converts it into silk fibers so that is all studied under sericulture next is spicy culture spicy culture is a separate branch of biology that in that we are studying about growing or rearing fishes this is a special science about them next now molecular biology we are studying the different molecules of the cells and related topics are studied under molecular biology next is biotechnology just like molecular biology only it is similar to that only so here we are combining the word technology means we are using the microorganisms or we are using the living organisms for the purpose of industries for the purpose of technologies so that is what is studied in the case of biotechnology next one a sub branch it is a sub category of biotechnology that is called as cloning cloning is what it is a, a it is a branch of biotechnology and where it is used it is used for modifying the crops to grow easily and improving the quality of the crops better crops can be grown if any crop is for example suffering from a disease then we can get a better variety of crop we can create an artificial variety of the crop by the use of biotechnology and that is what is done under the subject next is bioengineering bioengineering means what it means making of the artificial limbs joints and the parts of the body it, it can be even the internal organs the lungs artificial lungs artificial heart and liver are also available so these are all under the subject of bioengineering next is nuclear biology nuclear biology is also called as radiation biology and we are studying the effect of radioactivity on living things there are certain radioactive substances which emit radiations and which may cause cancer so those radioactive substances and their ill effects on the living beings are studied in the subject of nuclear biology next one now space biology 
in the topic of space biology and as well as exobiology both are closely linked in the space biology we are looking on the possibility of life in outer space how we can survive there how if the astronauts are going in the in the outer space how they can survive there that we are working on in the space biology in the case of exobiology what we are studying then here we are looking for the possibility of life on other planets for example mars is life possible there is life is life possible on moon so if we are looking for the possibility of life anywhere else in the universe that is exobiology and if we are looking for the problems which can be faced by human beings in outer space that is studied under space biology next one is genomics genomics is the study of the entire dna sequence of the organism that is we are studying what entire dna sequence is called as genome that is called as genome that is written here genome is the entire dna sequence so if we are studying the genome of a person or any organism it can be any living organism so that is studied under the subject of genomics next one now bioinformatics what is bioinformatics it is the combination of biology as well as computer science information technology both the things are used together so what we are doing in this we are managing and analyzing the biological information whatever biological information we have we convert that and store in the computers and analyze that using the computers that is done in the process in the subject of bioinformatics next one is biometrics this is a fastly growing science these days you may be using fingerprint sensors in your mobile phone so that is under the topic of biometrics different verifications of the person can be done by body features like the thumbprint the fingerprints and even the iris scan is done iris of the eye its scan is done by that you can recognize and you can validate a person is himself or not so by that many safety issues can be solved so that is studied under the topic of biometrics these are all different cases of applied biology now we will have a look on how the study of biology help us in our day to day life first is appreciation of nature how we can come to know about our nature that is through biology we are learning about the different forms of life around us different kind of organisms around us so by this we can come to know about the wide variety of plants and animals that are present on earth and the importance or interrelatedness of each other like you would you might have studied about food chains in the lower classes so how if one organism is not available it will affect all the organisms all over the earth will be disturbed because of that so we come to appreciate the nature by the study of biology second one keeping healthy if we study biology then we come to know about various diseases and how those diseases are caused if we come to know about that then we can definitely prevent ourselves from from getting sick and definitely we already know that prevention is better than cure so study of biology help us to keep ourselves healthy fit and fine the third one is conservation of natural resources so natural resources can be conserved because we come to know about their importance in our daily life how they are affecting our planet earth so we come to we can we can be aware and we can make others aware if we are studying biology and we can definitely conserve natural resources next growing more food growing more food means we can increase the yield of the crops more crops can be harvested from from the farms in the same area of the farm more crops can be grown that is by the knowledge of biology means we will come to know about the better practices of farming also we will have better seeds to grow through the use of biotechnology for example and also we can protect the crops from various diseases by the application of various kind of fertilizers for example so that there, there are many methods by which we can grow more amount of food a perfect example for this is green revolution green revolution in india and also across the world led to growth of more amount of food crops available so that was because of the biology only next is making a uh, uh, making us conscious citizen that actually is related to the above point only if we are aware of our surroundings then definitely we can do all these things that appreciation of nature about our health about the food all these things can be done so that is 
we can say it is closely linked to that only last one biology is necessary for certain careers certain careers are directly linked with biology these all these fields which we have studied in this present chapter are actually in uh, one in one way or the other are linked to biology if we don't know biology then we cannot make our careers in these fields so this is all how biology is important or it is helping in our day-to-day -day life that is all for the explanation part we will now move on to the exercise part and have a discussion on we have the discussion of the exercise part of the chapter one question number one you have to choose the correct option first paleontology is the study of answer is fossils next clones cloning is done where in the biotechnology question number next is name the following branches you have to tell the name first is application of biology in technology that is biotechnology next science of growing fruits and vegetables it is called horticulture C part study of prehistoric forms of life prehistoric forms are the extinct animal species extinct plant species we can study about them by the fossils that is paleontology next the part study of causes of immunity that is immunology study of fishes that is called as ichthyology next fill in the blanks bioengineering that what we can make with that we can make artificial limbs artificial body organs can be made dash is this dna sequence of an organ the dna sequence is called what that is genome next silk is produced by rearing that is here answers are downside here that is silk worms next d part evolution deals with the study of dash and dash of the organism the answer is origin as well as descent this is the definition itself next is e part organism which draw food from the host body that are called as parasites which draw means which take food from the host body number f animals which give birth to young ones they are called as viviparous animals in ancient india it, they were called as jeevaj animals next one dash is the father of medicine the answer is hippocrates now the matching is there all the options are mentioned ahead of the column a next you can take a note if you need next now name any two borderline species uh, science sorry sciences which are connected to biology so borderline means what that that is actually an interrelated or interdisciplinary subject biotechnology here we are using biology as well as some engineering concepts both are dealt together in these subjects biotechnology as well as bioengineering next one now name the respective subdivisions of biology which study these things study of insect is entomology birds ornithology study of fungi is mycology and study of the heredity about the dna and all that is under genetics next now some professions other than medicine which require knowledge of biology so these are some of the professions other than being a medical professional the, a person can choose these career option also for these basic knowledge of biology is needed next is what is biology so definition and how it began that you can note down even it is not compulsory to write these answers these are only for reference only next how does biology help in leading a healthier life how does it help because biology is very important for the human health that is the question they are asking so how it is so because we can come to know about various diseases how the diseases are caused the causative organism which or which kind of pathogen bacteria or virus is causing the disease about it we can come to know and also we can come to know how we can prevent that or how we can create a vaccine for the disease so that all can be done by the knowledge of biology next one now question they have asked a farmer and housewife they may never have studied biology but still they know some of the principles how is it so so farmer it is not compulsory to study biology for being a farmer but still farmer knows much by his experience by his day-to-day -day life experiences he knows about how to plow how to do the farming processes how to select the good quality of seeds how to do the sowing of seeds or what is the importance of irrigation that is how much water water should be supplied for which kind of crop so all these things are coming by experience only so next one housewife and the household the housewives are knowing the importance of various kind of vegetables about the, the the nutritional values of different kind of foods so these things are coming by experience only no formal education no classroom education is required for these things now there are difference between only the definitions you can note down 
that is given in the book itself all these answers you can write down like this in a straight line also you can make a table and write the definitions next one do you think biology can help further in increase in the yield of food how food quality of sorry the food yield can be increased yield means amount of food more food can be produced yes definitely if biology is applied then more amount of food can be produced the example is green revolution you might have studied in lower classes the green revolution is a blessing that is coming because of the study of biology only so new varieties of plants and new breeds of cattle can be developed by the knowledge of biology and by that we can have a better yield of food crops that is all for this chapter number one we'll proceed to the chapter two in the upcoming week you have to note down these answers make a separate notebook yes you have to make a separate notebook for these answers that is a homework for the week and do learn all the remaining definition that we have discussed in the present video today of the applied biology that you have to also note down separately. That is all for today.